Now, this is another story that is quite wild and sickening and sad, to say the least. Uh, we have a second grader. Have y'all heard of this story? Second grader who was hung from a school bathroom by a fourth grader. I repeat, a second grader who was hung in a school bathroom by a fourth grader. All right. Now, the parents are speaking out. Um. Let's get into it. Let's see what's going down, man. I mean, kids, they're taught this behavior. This is nothing that you were born with. So where is he receiving this information? Hold these parents accountable. Let's get into it. For an incident at a local elementary school, the mother's post about this online has since gone viral. Meanwhile, the school district is saying the students were, quote, horse playing. Our Alexis Wainwright spoke with the horse playing. What? This is what the school said. So the school too. Elementary school. The mother's post about this online has since gone viral. Meanwhile, the school district is saying the students were quote horse play. Oh, the school district. S -s 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 Let's sue the whole district then, damn it. Our Alexis Wainwright spoke with those parents exclusively and shares their story tonight. Alexis. Well, Simone, I spoke with the parents who say they're angry, hurt, and confused, but they're also thankful that their son is still here. And tonight they're calling for transparency and answers from the Charles County Public School District. If you look at my son, he has marks under his eyes, like blood vessels. He still has bruises on his neck from being choked. It's hard to hide emotion as these two parents who don't want to be identified talk about their son. They're hoping for answers after they say their son was hung by a fourth grade student in the boys' bathroom Friday. He's traumatized. Right. It's going to take time. This yeah. is not something that he's going to get over just overnight. Paperwork from the hospital lists one of his injuries as a neck contusion, which is caused by blunt trauma to the neck. Mm. The seven-year-old is a second grader at C. Paul Barnhart Elementary School in Waldorf. Charles County Public Schools says they're aware of the incident. That's crazy. I have a seven year old and she's not even capable of doing such egregious act at all to another person younger than her and she has two younger sisters she's not capable of doing nothing like that because she don't even think of nothing like that she wouldn't think of nothing like that now she's taught to defend herself as i teach all my my kids i teach my nephew i teach everybody that defend yourself don't let nobody punk you don't let nobody do nothing to you yeah that's yeah, defend yourself. But to go out and just bully somebody like that, I don't even think that they would could think of something like that because they don't. My kids don't see nothing like this on a regular. And if they did, they learned it from another kid at school or somebody else. They didn't learn this behavior from home. But I, I'm quite sure that this was taught at home. Yeah, why didn't he target any other student of any other race? Why did it have to be a little black boy? Huh? And why was he smart enough to know to get somebody smaller than him? He didn't get nobody his own size. Hmm? Incident and sent a statement saying, in part, two of our students were reportedly horse playing in a school bathroom when mm -hmm. one student's jacket got caught on a stall door hook. The student was not able to free themselves, and the other student involved was also not able to help them. It doesn't make sense to me. If you're horse playing, how do you get caught on the hook? That's not horse playing. I, I'm a. I've been a boy. I've done a whole lot of horse playing, and I've done some rough ass horse playing before. Yeah, this don't happen. We need answers. I want. That don't happen. We won't stop until we get answers. And now the parents say they're sharing their side of the story in hopes of preventing this from happening to anyone else. My son did tell me that when they were in the bathroom, he said that the little boy told him, "I'm going to show you how I did people back in the day." Mm. I feel like it's bullying because it's no telling how many other kids this has happened to. And they want the school district to. That, if that boy said that, he ain't lying. He is not lying. If that little boy told his mama that, he is not lying. Because how would he even know to come up with something like that at second, in second grade? How would he even know to put that together? So that, that little white boy definitely said that because he's heard that from his dad, his grandpa, somebody, his uncle, somebody. Step up. I want to see a policy in place 
I would like to see at least hallway monitors. I want to know why is a fourth grader in the same hallway or the same bathroom as the second grader? Most schools have them divided. I feel like this is very unacceptable. These That's are true. all our children, and they are the future. So we just, like, we need to protect them. Like, we're sending our kids to schools every day thinking that they are safe. I don't ever think and my kids are safe. Has since been released from Never. I expect them to be in, in school, but I don't just be like, yeah, because, man, anything can happen. Hell, a teacher can get upset and do something, you know. Shit, I'm on guard. <laughs> His parents tell me they won't be returning back to school, but they hope to hear more updates from the district soon. Simone. That's crazy. All right, Alexis, seven years old. Hard to wrap your mind around this tonight. Thank you. Strength. That's crazy, man. <laughs> wow. I'm I'm glad the little boy survived and then, you know, get deleted. Didn't, you know, that didn't strangle the, the breath out of him. But that's sad. That's what's going on in today's world. It's in second grade and fourth grade. Like I was we thinking on it. Was we on that type of time in the second and the fourth grade? I'm trying to remember my first racist encounter. It may have been in sixth grade that I can think. And remember, it may have been in sixth grade. I mean, I know shit happens different for different people, but I think that's a little too young. Like, damn, second grade? Fourth grade? That's wild. Wild business. 